All right, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back for more Near. In the last episode, shades started appearing in the area in great numbers. So in this episode, we're gonna find out why. I had a feeling it was you, Scorpion Pal. Did you get bigger? I feel like you got bigger. Maybe they're the same size. Now these shades do have actual names, but you're, I don't think you're ever really told in the game. Unless you uh, look at the trophy descriptions you get for killing them fast enough. Ah, we have three Dark Lances now! Keep your guard raised. I'll try to keep that in mind. God, even I... Uh, even melee is just relegated to chip damage at this point. Rot in hell, asshole! Did, did you just say what I think you said? Are you surprised at this point, Nier? Tear your eyes out, you piss and suck. Now that was something. Damn it. Kainai struggles. You must hurry! Nope. God damn it, back to full. Fortunately, if you fail to uh, defeat the thing, like uh, in the short amount of time you get for it, I think when you have to break it again, it only shows up as the uh, as what you left it at before it uh, healed up again. Whatever, I'm just gonna shift damage you to death, you don't deserve it better. Yep. The game throws you a bone in that regard. Keep getting knife dark hand. Oh, they're dead. Oh, they're dead too. And they're probably not too far behind. I'll take care of the boss. You worry about the rest. Fair enough. Goodbye, Super Saiyan. Be keen if I could just level up. I could use the extra strength. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Yeah, I really underestimate Dark Hand. Solier. Which is a better version of the Soul Spell. Good that we're already getting upgraded words. Ooh, pumpkin seeds. Yum. This is the part I was talking about where we're going to get to explore the whole area. Hey, shut up. Yeah, that's uh, a little late for that. Yeah, big talk coming from a guy hiding. Please shut up and let her save your lives. Don't defend me. It's death. Sorry to keep you waiting. You don't care what these people say about you? No, screw them. <laughs> there you go. Is that a tank it's holding? Is it filled with monsters? 
Our new friend is a dangerous person. We need to take out the tank first. Let's. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't really have a timer. I just need to be able to throw my dark lances, right? Handshake. Pack like that would be enough to break it. Stop running. I got this. Get up there and wait for him. Okay, watch yourself. Thank you for actually listening to me. the first part I really feel like I'm in danger, but I feel like uh, that magical absorption spell should probably actually help out here. Let's get that set up. Dark gluttony. Good god, it's bullet hell. It's deja vu all over again. Nice. I wonder if I can hit it with Dark Hand from up here. Guess not. Alright. Joking me. What kind of stripper dance was that? This ends now, asshole. We should join her. Right. We should, but I'd also like to kill Shades. starting to take a lot more to kill them than it used to. Not really even close to a level either. Oh wow, I'm hurting. Someone drop an herb, please. We'll fight for herbs. Maybe one of these guys has it. Or a bell pepper seed. It's really more of a storehouse than anything. Of course, I don't really see how you can do much in the way of farming here. It can escape us no longer. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. It's a 
simple pattern, but a pattern nonetheless. Oh. Yeah. Hey, when I'm like fighting a boss like this, and since it takes a lot of concentration, I forget to blink. And now my eyes are all running. Better than my nose, I guess. Breathe it in. I hear you panting. You're breathing it in. Hi, Nay. It's me. Grandma. What? Oh, how you grown. Kaine, what's wrong? Oh, it gladdens my heart to find you again. Grandma? You pushed it too far. Is that it? Hmm? Are you done talking? I know. Don't speak to your grandma like that. You're going to stop talking now. And then I'm going to walk over to you. And very carefully, extend my hand, reach into your chest, and pull out your fucking heart! There we go. <laughs> my grandmother would never say that. Kinda reminds me of uh, Dragon Ball Z where uh, Imperfect Cell was trying to get Android 18 to uh... I spent my entire life searching for a way to accept being absorbed. Death. By talking to him as Android 17, and it's like, yeah, oh my god! How far back is that gonna push me? Okay. My grandmother would never say that. She'd never tell me to give up on life. Never! I spent my entire life searching for a way to avenge her death. She gave me the strength to deal with this goddamn mutant body. Do you know how long I've been like this? A while, apparently. How much I loathe myself? Stop it, guys, you're gonna hurt me. Eh, yeah, really don't want a repeat of what just happened. Mounting a loss of desperate defense, you guys. That that please don't, please don't. I can do it, 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 no! I was right there! I'm just gonna sit and let Kai and I handle it for me then. So I can charge up a few dark hands, see if I can get more than one going. A second. Nice. I'm gonna dark hand to finish him off too. I'm not about just using that spell that we've been using this entire match to finally work. It's a thing of beauty. Oh. 
got it. Trying to come back from that one. Bet you can. Kaine. I think she intends to perish where she lies. And in truth, perhaps death is the greatest comfort we can offer her. It's not your decision. Mm -hmm. You don't get to decide who lives and who dies. She's a life with meaning and worth. We're gonna save her. Everyone has something to live for. Even Kaine. Even Yona. Perhaps you should save your pretty words for her instead of wasting them on me. This woman has more trouble than she's worth. That's it. Come on. You're going to live, Kaine. Me? Live? What for? What? <laughs> Just throw her hand away, jeez. I had my revenge. Now it's over. Oh, now see here, this is rich. Vice! We help you in some mad quest for vengeance, and now you think to bid us adieu. How can a fighter so skilled be cursed with such a thick head? A true warrior would fight. They would give all in the service of their friends. Friends? Yes. You and I are friends now. Uh, see here, that was hardly the point. Then what is the point? Uh, Kaine, come fight with us. Fool, you can't just invite her along. There are many issues that must be carefully weighed and considered. For example, how will she possibly affect our overall ability Krim to... book. To... Book? How dare you? I am Grimoire Vice, wielder of our kings. Vice, then. Do not abbreviate my name. You're an ass, but you're also right. I need to live for something besides revenge. Then you'll join us? My swords need a true home. But you'll do for now. Can we get the dark phantasm magic? Which is insane for crowd control. This is the crowd control spell. Facade of the desert, huh? And we got more party members. It's sort of like Final Fantasy XIII in that they're AI controlled. Actually, I'd more compared to Secret of Mana. Being as, uh. It's more of an action RPG, I suppose. Anyway, she'll, com she'll control just like she controlled the first few times we, uh, we fought alongside her. She'll uh, float around, attacking, doing whatever. Generally doing just chip damage to bosses and enemies alike, but, you know, it's something. It's less work that we have to do. Alright, remember that first time the goat escaped us in the second episode? That place where we was going is where we have to go next. Into the f desert of Facade. I would like to show off the Dark Phantasm magic, but, uh... 
I suppose I'll do that later. That is insanely good. Yeah, in um, villages, actually no, in just uh, Popola's village here, any party members, spoiler alert, we're going to get more party members, uh, they don't like to come into villages, and all of them have their reasons. I suppose uh, Kaine would stir up quite a stir just like that, because we seem to be sort of a conservative village. she can just super saiyan above the village, so unless anyone got an upskirt of her. It seems like it'd be pretty easy no matter what direction you were facing, actually. I'm not letting you get away. Damn right. I am the Goat Master! Oh, I didn't know you could fish here. Again, I never really tried fishing here. These are the sins of your family! I don't actually think he can fight them, he just pull off their tail. Anyway, yeah, when you don't have to run around and chase after goats, it's significantly easier. juice, but I haven't had orange juice all day. Come to think about it, it might actually be Mountain Dew. Of course, I don't really drink Mountain Dew that often. I don't really like... Soda isn't really my thing. Except for Diet Coke, oddly enough, because it's my mom's favorite drink. So it's the only soda we ever really have around here. The only other soda I drink on a frequent basis is off-brand Diet Dr. Pepper. Diet Dr. Bob. It's a giant brand. And it's good. It scratches my soda itch. And my mom doesn't like it, so I can have it all to myself. <laughs> so what's facade like? It's strange. Let's just leave it at that. Stranger than a boorish young woman who battles monsters in her undergarments. Let's go. Might serve a point in a side quest later on. What's that? Jasmine is a scorpion. Phylum Arthropoda, subphylum Pulsarata, order Scorpionta. They are closely related in structure to other arachnids. That would have been helpful during my biology class. It's an enemy. Wait, they're leaving. That one appears to be the pack leader. Those are the only things in the game that I think can inflict the uh, poison status. Which is a bitch and a half to get rid of if you don't have any antidotes. Honestly, I feel like antidotes fall into the too good to use category because you can get poisoned pretty quickly again after it. I wonder what that shady looking wolf is all about. Oh well. I guess we shouldn't let it bother us. Gates closed shut. Doesn't look like we'll be getting in very easily. Uh, now see here. Uh... <laughs> you know these guys, Kaine? No, it's not that.
And now to my least favorite village in the game. Though I do like the music, it's peaceful. I expected more of an Arabian kick to it. Sort of like an Aladdin thing. I suppose I couldn't get that lucky though. This town is also perfectly symmetrical. A while back, they saved one of their kids from a pack of wolves. Ever since, this town's welcomed me with open arms. It's gotta be a pretty screwed up place if they let me in, huh? Anyway, I don't know the language or anything, so don't get too excited. Yeah, they have their own language too. The king lives in the big building. Figure out the rest for yourself. What about you? I'll stay here. I hate crap like this. I don't know whether to thank you or wish you ill. I suppose a quick stroll about town is in order. The language they use here is pretty crazy, so good luck with that. Fortunately, they provide a handy dandy translation guide. Basically, everything looks like it's in English, both parentheses I'd around it. That huge structure is the king's manor. How do we even get there? We have the willpower and smarts, my good man. <laughs> You're damn right. Now, these little sand rivers function like regular rivers in that if you touch one, you take a damage penalty and get sent back to. I guess no damage penalty, on, but you get sent Help here. Me out here. I am a brilliant book of unspeakable value, on some dog-eared travel guide. It's kind of hard to get around here. Fortunately, they do have those Sand River boats, but I'm going to save those for now. You'll find out why in just a short little bit. All these stairs. They couldn't have made this more needlessly complicated if they tried. We'd best figure out a way to the king. No entry. I sure wish I understood this line. This is pointless. Elsewise, we'll be ascending and descending stairs until doomsday. <laughs> That's just an invisible wall, huh? Well, that's something. Really gonna force the issue of being the helpful good Samaritan. Oh, look! This one lacks the power of speech. Perhaps she can communicate through gesture. Let me see. Thank you. You're welcome. I am Vera. Ah. Uh, In trouble? No, we just need to ask your leaders about something. But I can't do that unless I can understand them. I can guide you? Oh, she will act as our guide. How fortuitous. But first, I must explain this town. I'm not here for a tour. No, there are rules to follow. Follow me. Well, there you have it. Yeah, this next section of the game is all sorts of unfortunate. Facade is a town of many, many rules. And as a result, it means we're gonna get an entire tour of the town that we didn't know we wanted. But I'm gonna save it for the next episode. But what could all these rules be about? Why is everyone wearing masks? And why can everyone communicate through sign language? No, I'm just kidding, only she can. Anyway, all of these answers and more Next time, in Nier. I'm not good at the HC Bailey cliffhanger yet, so work with me, guys. See you guys next time.